Hi, this is Professor Zygmunt from Valparaiso University, Department of Physics and Astronomy again. And in this video, what I'd like to do is show you how to use the program ChemCraft, which is a free program that you can download a trial copy of on your own computer, uh, to set up the input coordinates for a VASP calculation. So uh, of the important input files, in order to run VASP, to do an electronic structure calculation for a molecule or for a periodic solid, uh, the important file that contains the atomic coordinates for the system is called POSCAR. And so we'll show how the POSCAR file is set up in just a few minutes, but let's imagine that we want to do a calculation for a simple molecule like water. Uh, so ChemCraft has some very useful features uh, that will allow us to import molecular structures with the approximate correct atomic coordinates. Of course, we'll have to run the VASP calculation in order to get the coordinates that correspond to the lowest energy structure, which is what we usually want. So if you have a window uh, open, a ChemCraft window open, under the Edit menu, you can click uh, their options at the top for Add Atom, Add Fragment, or Add or Remove Bond. And you can build up a structure atom by atom if you want. And sometimes you need to do this, uh, particularly if you're uh, starting with an, a certain molecule and you want to substitute an atom uh, for one of the atoms that's already there. But I'm going to look at add fragment. And so if we want to do a calculation for a simple molecule, uh, there, there are a number of different uh, structures that are built into ChemCraft. But if we look at simple compounds, the very first one is water. So if I click on H2O, you can see the molecule appearing in the window, and while it's in the window, if I click in the main ChemCraft window, then that molecule appears here. So I, I've done that. I'm going to close, and now if I use the uh, right arrow and the mouse pad, I can rotate this molecule so that I can see the water molecule, uh, all three atoms, the two hydrogens and the oxygen in red. And if I go to the coordinate window, it gives me the coordinates, and then in the uh, left-hand column, the atomic number for each of the atoms. So I would like to uh, input the coordinates for this into the postcard file, uh, but one of the things about ChemCraft is that when it sets up the coordinates of a molecule like this, you'll notice that these numbers in angstroms are all very small, and so the origin of the coordinate system is very close to the position of these atoms. And if we were to run the calculation on VASP using these coordinates that appear here by default, uh, when VASP does the calculation and then we create an output file after the VASP calculation is done, the coordinates of the atoms are all going to be around the origin. And what ChemCraft does is it displays the results uh, and the coordinates of the atoms in a way that uh, you have a possibility of some of the atoms appearing in part of the unit cell and other atoms appearing in uh, the next unit cell. And so you wouldn't necessarily get to see the atoms bonded together the way that we do right now at the center of this viewing window. So what I'm going to do, and this is because uh, my calculation for the water molecule is going to have the H2O inside a 20 by 20 by 20 cubic box for the periodic system. So what I'm going to do with this, rather than just copy these coordinates here, is I am going to use the edit menu and scroll down and find this option translate atomic coordinates. And this can be really useful if I want to change the coordinate center to a particular atom or if I want to specify the uh, orientation of the XYZ axis or align two atoms along X, Y, or Z. Uh, but the most important thing that I'm going to use this for is to do what's called a custom coordinate transformation. So if I click the button up here, translate coordinates in angstroms, I'm going to add 10 angstroms, 10 to X, Y, and Z for the coordinates of all these atoms. So what happens when I do that? Okay, if I click OK, uh, you can see that the, the molecule itself has shifted position in the window, but, and I can retrieve that by going to the center button here, 
if I click the center button, it, wherever the molecule happens to be, it brings it back to the center of the window. But what's happened, if you look at the coordinates now, is that these coordinates are all very close to the, the, the center of the box. So if I have a 20 by 20 by 20 angstrom box, the center, of course, is at 10, 10, 10. And it's helpful for the purposes of graphical display of the final structure. It's helpful to have the molecule near the center of the box. And this way, it does it automatically for you. You don't have to take these coordinates and put them in a spreadsheet and add 10 angstroms manually. It just does it automatically. So what then I'm going to do with these coordinates, I'm going to copy them with the copy button at the bottom right. Copy them, okay? Now I'm going to go to our computational server uh, where I'm going to create the postcar file. And I'm going to take a postcar file that I used for a previous calculation. So if I look here uh, in my home directory, uh, I've got postcar, uh, this file. And if I use the gedit command, to open a window up so that I can edit this file. You'll see in just a moment when the window opens, okay, this was a this was a postcard file for a CH3 radical. So it had a carbon atom and three hydrogen atoms. Uh, the title up here, of course, is, is something that you'll want to change. And so you can just backspace over this and, and call it the H2O molecule. The one is a scale factor. Okay, so we're going to leave that one. And here are the uh, basis vectors for my unit cell, which is 20 by 20 by 20. So the uh, basis vector along the x direction is 20, 0, 0, and then along the y direction, 0, 20, 0, and then 0, 0, 20 along the z-axis. So we leave those the same. But now, because our molecule uh, has uh, hydrogen and uh, then oxygens, okay, we're going to, first of all, I'm going to clear out the atomic coordinates that were already here. So just delete those. And I've copied, so I'm going to paste. Under Edit, I'm going to click Paste. And that should, oops, maybe when I deleted it, I, uh, I got rid of the copy. So I go back here to ChemCraft, and I copy the coordinates. And then I go to uh, the gedit window, and I'm going to paste them in here. Paste did not work. What is the problem with that? Huh. OK, well, let me go back to ChemCraft and see. I wonder why it didn't seem to copy it correctly. Hmm. Maybe I need to use the Copy button at the upper right-hand corner. So if I copy that, then go to my gedit window and paste, hmm, that just copied and pasted the title. That didn't work. So what's the problem here? Let's see. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to highlight the coordinates and then click Copy. And maybe that will make a difference. So and then I will go back to gedit. And here, under Edit, I click Paste. Ah, good. So finally, I have, so apparently, in the ChemCraft window, it was necessary to highlight the coordinates uh, that I wanted to copy. So if I go back to ChemCraft, you, you highlight those coordinates and then click the Copy button at the bottom right. And finally, you can paste them into the postcard file. Okay, now, one thing I'd have to change is that the atomic numbers are not necessary. In fact, uh, VASP does not want those in there. So it just wants the x, y, z coordinates. So I'm going to get rid of the 8, the 1, and the 1. But it is important for me to make sure that uh, I have the ordering of these atoms correct. So the first atom was an oxygen atom. And that means I'm going to edit, instead of carbon as the first atom, I have oxygen. And the next two are hydrogens. And then the, the line after the O and the H is 1 and 2. Uh, it was 1 and 3 because it previously was for a calculation with three hydrogens but now I'm going to change it to 1 and 2. All right, so uh, this postcard file now is correct in order to calculate the structure of a water molecule where the first atom here is the oxygen atom, and the next two atoms are the hydrogen atoms. 
And one thing that's important here is the order of these atoms has to be the same order as appears in the Potcar file. And one of my subsequent videos shows how to set up the Potcar file that contains the atomic potentials for the atoms that are in the molecule. Okay, But for now, we have, we've changed the title. We didn't have to change the basis vectors because we want to use the same unit cell. We changed the atom labels and the number of atoms. And then Cartesian tells VASP that the coordinates are appearing in typical Cartesian coordinates in angstroms. And you can see once again that they are very close to the center of our 20 by 20 box. So in this case, right, I could go to File and Save. And this would save it to that postcard file. So I'll click out of this and go back to my command line here. And let's just more the postcard file and make sure. Yep, there it is. OK, so we've, we've used ChemCraft. Uh, and one of its features there in order to pull in a standard molecule that's built into the program. And then we've had to do a little bit of editing and copying and pasting in order to get it into a form uh, that will be suitable to run VASP. So uh, there's a lot of features that ChemCraft has, both for creating molecules and then for visualizing the results of a VASP calculation. Some of my other videos will show uh, some of those features. Uh, but this one I just wanted to use in order to help you get started uh, setting up the coordinates for a molecule uh, that will be used in a VASP calculation. Hope that's helpful.